let's talk about Black Obsidian today. So Obsidian is glass. Did you know that? So this is formed by the lava of a volcano. And whenever you see Obsidian, this is going to be hard to get close-ups of this because it's so shimmery. But there's not much to look at in terms of Obsidian. And Obsidian, this is it in its raw form. It is glass. It is volcanic glass created by the lava when it cools really fast and rapidly. And it's just, it just forms into this. And obsidian is, if I have to pick the number one thing metaphysically for this crystal, this glass crystal, whatever you would like to call it, it would be the root chakra. And you have to think, think of how this thing, how much energy, how much power, how much heat went into creating this. I mean, it's amazing when you think that this actually was formed by a volcano. And when you have that much intensity, that much energy, everything gets trapped within this. And again, it's not much to look at, but this right here, if you're just starting out, just getting into any type of metaphysical healing, uh, you want to work with crystals, you want to work with the energy body, you want to start healing your chakras, you want to, this is where to start. This is the base. But think about it, like, the, it is the base. It came from the earth, created by the earth in the most intense fashion. This is the base right here. And think of it that way because the root chakra, this has everything to do with the root chakra. And when you're just starting out, you're not going to want to jump into working with crystals that are Everybody wants to jump into crystals that are working with, you know, psychic powers and all that kind of stuff. And you can do that. But if you're looking to actually heal your energy body, you have to start from the ground up. If you have a clog, any, any type of issues with that root, root chakra, that base chakra, you're going to have issues from bottom up. Whenever that's inhibited in any way with a low type of energy coming through there. If something's blocked up, it's going to cause issues through the rest of your energy system. So where would you start? If you're in the beginning, in the very beginner, this is perfect to start out with because you're going to start with that root chakra, which this perfectly deals with. And it's one of, if not, the best for dealing with it. Now, again, is it a lot to look at? Is it, wow, this is, it's not amazing. But they come in, I mean, you can get these. This is probably one of the nicer obsidians. Now, this is gold sheen obsidian. So, it's got that litter, that, there you go. That rainbow sheen to it. So you're going to pay a little more, blah, blah, blah. But this, the only reason is because it's a carving. And obsidian is carved very well, very easily. Well, I don't know about easily, but I'm sure they have a way to easily do it by now. But that's one of the, um, the cool things. But again, is it much to look at? Whenever you're looking at this, it's just kind of a black, jet black looking formation. That's that's all you got. Anyone, now there's snowflake obsidian, there's mahogany obsidian, 
but they all just kind of look like a hunk of black glass. And that's pretty much what it is. Now, in terms of the, just think of the power trapped in here. That's the part that I like. And when you first pick this up and you first start working with it, you don't feel a ton, but this sucker builds on you. And there's a couple different ways to use this. Now, obviously, root chakra. You have to think root chakra right from the ground up. This is going to unclog that. It's going to get rid of blockages. It's going to help get that energy flowing throughout your body again. And this is the perfect place to start with obsidian. You want to work from the ground up. So it might not, is it the best ever for the root chakra? It's up there. It's, it's definitely top three, I would say. And it's one of those where it's not very expensive. Unless you're getting a carving, you're going to pay a little more for the, for the art part of it. But this is pretty much all you're getting. It, it, when you're at a crystal shop, if you see obsidian, now they, they form it into spheres, they form it into pyramids. And But if you just have a raw piece of obsidian, I, that's all you need. That's it. This or smaller. And this is the most common. And these are Apache tears, they call these. And I believe they say, like the, uh, the old tale for these is the Indians... Um, their tears formed into this uh, with all they went through and they hardened into this shape. So they call these Apache tears. It's nothing more than obsidian. And these are maybe $2 a piece at your local crystal store uh, on average. And you could even get them a little smaller. You could easily work with these. This is probably the most common form of obsidian that you could get at a very, very cheap price. And they're called Apache Tears. Um, you could even put these, if it's a little smaller, you could put this in a pendant and wear it. But again, root chakra, 100%. That's where you want to start. When you think obsidian, that's what you kind of want to think of. And negative energy. This is destroys it. it it doesn't transmute it it deflects it it punches it right in the teeth when negative energy evil energy psychic attacks any type of that trash evil spirits anything like that this is your go-to this will block it not transmute it like a smoky quartz this will punch it right in the face and say get out of here and if you have enough obsidian spread around your home in little pieces like this no way is anything going to cross into your home no way this is the perfect ward for getting rid of that negative just psychic trash evil type of stuff this is a perfect one and it's used as a, in talismans, amulets, stuff like that, specifically for that reason. But in terms of not everybody has evil demonic forces flying around their house, like in the Poltergeist movies. So I would say it's more commonly used for working with your root chakra. But if you happen to have that demon flying around, crack out some obsidian and punch it right in the teeth. This will get rid of it. I mean, you might not be able to see or feel and everything, but this has immense power trapped within it from when it was created, and it's perfect for dispelling anything like that. Again, is it not? Is it amazing thing to look at? Not really. You're, you're only going to get these kind of colors. There's another one that's called mahogany, and you can kind of see in this one that dark brown mahogany color. Um, from mahogany obsidian but again is it amazing wow not really but it's effective and it's great to start out with it's inexpensive if you get it in its natural form and it's very easy and the other thing 
It's just perfect to cleanse your energy body. From ground up, this is going to cleanse not only the root chakra, the entire energy body. It's going to dispel anything stuck to you. Any of that trash, garbage, it's going to get rid of it. And it's going to get rid of it pretty quickly. This isn't something that you have to keep working with over and over and over and over to finally, like if it's very strong right up front in terms of the, hey, get the heck out of here. And it's going to blast stuff right off of you. Um, the other piece with this, if you go into advanced uses, which I do not, but if you go into advanced usage of this, you can get into stuff where people use it for like banishing stuff. Like I was talking about um, reversing spells. Like it, it's big in that, probably more in that, like that Wiccan type of community, spellcasters, wizards, uh, that kind of a thing I'm talk, trying to get to. Most people are not going to say, Hey, I need to reverse a binding spell. And no, you're going to just use it for its more basic purposes. But it is com it is used in advanced purposes um, in that kind of uh, <clears throat> regard with that kind of stuff. <laughs> and very effective, very powerful. Uh, the other thing too, it blocks, like I said, it blocks negative energy, gets rid of all that, uh, anything evil, that kind of stuff. The other thing it does is it could work with, if you have trauma, like past life type stuff going on. And the only thing with that is you have to, that's more advanced. You're, you're not going to just pick up a piece of obsidian. And this works with whenever you're doing, whenever I say past life stuff, that's deeper. You got to go into a meditative state. You got to work to figure out kind of what, what's going on to get through those layers that could be trickier you're not going to just pick up a piece of obsidian and say oh boy i sensed that in my last life i was a sailor and uh you know somebody chopped my head off right before i died and i would like to uh come to terms with that and no you're, you're gonna have to really go a little bit well a lot deeper to get to those but if you are capable this is a great stone to work with to get past that kind of stuff and heal those uh, traumas that you might have, you, you don't even know you're aware of and carry them into another life. And this is great. It, it could be, it's what I'm trying to say is it's great for the beginner and the advanced. And it's very versatile, but you have to think this is a purifier, in a not a purifier, I'm sorry, a blocker. It's a blocker. It's going to punch stuff away. It's going to, it's not like a smoky quartz, which transmutes and it purifies stuff. This is going to just ward it away. It's like a, like a shield similar to black tourmaline. Um, and again, very cool because of the way it's formed. And there was so much energy that went into this. Think of the heat, the immense amount of heat. That, that went into creating this. It's just very cool. So that's pretty much it with obsidian. Not much to look at. You could get it in carvings. I also have other pieces that are in towers that are massive that I'd have to take pictures of them and attach them to the video or something. I mean, I would need help probably carrying some of them. The one I have, I think is about three feet high. And it's just massive, just massive. So I, I don't have, I also have a, a piece like this, which is probably the size of a basketball. It's just huge. And I have that right in the middle of my house, right in the middle of my house. It's just, <laughs> it's very strange to have a gigantic boulder of obsidian sitting around, but I am pretty crazy. And yes, I do have one. <laughs> I also have tons of this size. I didn't even realize this, but I have an entire five-gallon bucket of all these this size in, in downstairs. So if anybody's interested, at some point, maybe I could start listing them for sale in my Etsy shop. Um, 
I didn't even know I had them. I, I kind of forgot about them, to be honest with you. But perfect size, and I could let them go at a pretty good price, too. I mean, they're, they're all pretty nice. But again, you want something cheap, inexpensive, go to your local crystal store, ask them for an Apache tier, and that's what you're going to get. And they even come smaller than this, about half size, so you could wear them in pendants, stuff like that, which would be perfect as a pocket stone or something you could wear as a pendant and ward off all that junk, kind of keep it as a shield to shield you, similar to black tourmaline. But again, this is great for root chakra perfect beginner because you want to start from ground up so that's about it for this one black obsidian keep checking back i'm trying to make i'm gonna i'm gonna make every possible video you can imagine on every possible crystal and mineral imaginable so keep checking back and i will have tons more videos to come have a good one